Alright, hello everyone, it's GSTAR321 here, and today we are playing Mortal Kombat 4 on the PlayStation. Before we kick things off, we've got a cool intro and cutscene, so I'll just let it play. Yoricom Developments Limited Entertainment Software Games. Electronic fun for everyone. The crushing pound of the mallet. The shattering blow of the club. The slashing edge of the blade. They call to you. Alright, so this is Mortal Kombat 4 for the PlayStation. Now I'm just going to quickly go into options first because if I don't we'll get another cutscene. So yeah, Mortal Kombat 4. This is an awesome game, okay? This is when the series first made the transition into 3D fighting on a 2D plane. The action is fast paced. It is just fucking insane. Out of all of them up to this point, you know, Mortal Kombat 4 wins in that department. It's, the battles are just fast, furious and just insane okay I love it and you know the new Mortal Kombat or Mortal Kombat 9 that came out recently for the PS3 and the Xbox 360 which was supposedly a rehash of the original that was a piece of shit in my opinion okay pretty much when Mortal Kombat started going into that new fighting element you know where you switch styles and switch out to a weapon and all that shit Basically at the start of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, I believe, that's when the series really went downhill for me. Okay, I started hating it at that point. I, I did play them all, you know, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Deception, Armageddon and all that shit. I played them all. I enjoyed them, but as I was playing them, you know, I was aware that this isn't really that good, you know what I mean? Like, I d I d I'm enjoying it, but at the same time, I'm sort of not, if that makes sense, but... Mortal Kombat 4, you know, is the best 3D fighting version of the game available, even to this day, in my opinion, okay? If they just spent the time to refine it, you know, change some things, whatever, new graphics and all that, and just kept it on that simple 2D plane, you know, they could have done really well, but... But anyway, let's go ahead and do it. So, continues, I'm going to put it up to 6. You don't... You know, the AI in this game is really easy compared to the previous Mortal Kombat games, you know, like 1, 2, 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, okay? The AI isn't going to be a fucking ass in this game. It's definitely doable and a hell of a lot easier, even on medium, okay, which is what I'm just going to leave it on. So, continues 3 is probably fine, but I'm just going to set it to 6 in case there is a bit of bullshit happening and, and rage and all that type of stuff, so... Let's go ahead and start it up. Mortal Kombat 4 on the PlayStation. Fucking great game. So here we go, the character select screen. Okay, my favourite characters in this game are Scorpion, Raiden and Liu Kang. You know, we've got new characters here like Kai, Rico, Jarek and Fujin. They're all fucking garbage, okay, for different reasons. Jarek is just a fucking Kano clone. I just wish they had him instead of, you know, Kano instead of Jarek. Uh, Fujin is alright, he's, he's an interesting character with interesting concept, you know, wind god or whatever. But his moves are just ass, you know, like trying to do them, like he's got a telekinetic slam or whatever. So, which is similar to Ermax back in the day, but instead of just following up with a slam, you have to input another combination to actually do the slam. So, you know, you'll start it off. And, um, fuck, I've got to focus here, this is horse shit, alright. <laughs> yeah, so, as I was saying with Fujin, you know, you'll start it off doing the slam, but he won't follow through with the slam. You have to input another combination of buttons and shit in order for, for him to do it, which is just horse shit, you know. So this is... Fuck off. I fucking love this game, okay? 
So basically it's similar controls to the previous ones, you know, it'll be easy to just pick up and play even if you've never played this before. You know, it's the same buttons, low kick, high kick, high punch, high, low punch and all that, run, block. There is a new move, I'm going to try and do it right now, which you can do, which is this, the sidestep move. So if Scorpion was to do that spear, okay, just then, instead of just ducking, you can do this, sidestep away from it. I don't like using it, I think it's a piece of shit, that move, it's unnecessary, but I don't know, whatever, some people might like it. Alright, let's fuck him up here, do his fatality. Here we go. Love this fatality. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Fatality. So fitting as well, my character's Scorpion. Alright, Kai. Fucking hate this guy. He's such a shit character. I don't know, other people might like him. I just think he's an, an asshole. I hate him. Alright, I'm going to start playing properly here. You can also bring out weapons and shit, I'll just do it here. You can, I'll do it mid-combo actually. Okay, so you can use your weapon and stuff, which is awesome. It's a combination to bring that out. Forward, forward, high kick with Scorpion. Alright. And they're pretty good, you can bring them out mid-combo and do an attack, so... Oh, that's bullshit. Fuck! So I'll do it. See how he brings it out mid-combo like that? <laughs> Love that shit. Ah, asshole. Mm. You're gonna suffer for that, you fuck. Scorpion's classic fatality makes a return, okay? Scorpion. Jesus, look at those pixels, they're massive. Fatality. That fatality is a pixelated mess. Probably back in the day it looked awesome, but now it just looks like shit. I'm gonna stick with the Scorpion fatality from now on. Reiko, Jesus Christ, all the shit characters. Well, it's good, I'm beating up all the shit. Yeah, love that. Ah. Oh. No, you don't. You can pick up these rocks and throw them. Oh, that's bullshit. He ducked it. <laughs> Roundhouse kicks. I love them in this game, okay? If you guys know from Hong Kong movies, you know, usually when someone kicks someone in, you know, in a Hong Kong action movie, they do a spin like that. So that's called the Hong Kong spin. I fucking love that shit. I'm gonna do it again. Fuck, that's awesome. Fuck, that's all shit. Every time I run into him and try to... There we go. Um, do the scorpion fatality again. Why not? His other one looks like shit. The flame fatality. I'm not really a fan of that in this. It, it starts off looking awesome, but when you see all those big pixels flying around, it just sort of ruins it for me. Holy shit, we are really fighting all the shit characters in this game. Jarek is next. Tanya. She was alright, I think. I don't know. Better than Sonya Blade for me, at least, anyway. Oh, fuck. The problem is, if you bring out your weapon and you get hit, you lose it again, so that fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, my God. I tend not to even bother blocking in Mortal Kombat 4. It's just so fast-paced and brutal and furious that, you know, if you stop for one second, the AI gains ground on you. I haven't done this yet, but you can also do this. Ah, oh, fuck, missed. How can, how can that shit miss? It's a combo. Mm, damn it! Oh, God. See that kick there? You can do like a... Uh, similar to an uppercut. Down high kick does like a, a kick uppercut, so to speak, which is fucking awesome. You can do that in combos as well. Love that shit. I just love everything about this game. There are some stage fatalities you can do, most notably on the fan stage level. Um, I don't think I've encountered that level yet. 
so I won't be able to show you guys, but that's awesome. So I haven't lost a single fight yet. Jesus, I'm tearing this guy up. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love doing that. If you start going crazy on your opponent, you'll get that max damage thing. And it just staggers both your characters back and you get, you know, max damage on the screen. Love that shit. Mmm, fucking Kano clone. <laughs> God damn, there you go. Hong Kong spin, there you go. Love that. Alright, so Goro. So this is going to be a relatively quick playthrough compared to the previous Mortal Kombat games that I've done playthroughs on, okay, because the AI is not an ass in this game. Goro is a bit of a fuckwit. He, he's, he can be a bit of a pain. Uh, I've got to try and focus here. This, is, this can be bullshit. You know, Goro can do jump fly kicks now, which is bullshit. You know, he's... This is pretty cheap, I feel sorry for him. The problem is if I don't do that cheap shit against him, you know, if you run into him and try and throw him or do that... You know, with, when you run up close and press low kick, you've also got that other throw which does a special attack depending on your character. So with Scorpion it's that. So some most of the time when you try and do that to Goro, he'll just grab you and start punching you which takes away fucking half your life, which is bullshit. Mmm! Combo, my ass! Fuck! So you, you've really got to be cheap on Goro. I mean, I'm trying not to here. I'm just trying to do a few combos and stuff. But if it doesn't work out and I die, I'll just pick Raiden or Liu Kang and just fucking torpedo or fly kick his ass. Which is looks like it's going to happen. He's blocking everything. Honest, I'm not really focusing. Oh, there you go. I tried to run into him and do a combo. And he just grabbed me and did that shit, okay? So... Running into Goro and trying to start a combo will usually result in failure 95% of the time, okay? So you've got to, you've got to beat him using cheap horse shit. Alright, continue. I, I love this continue screen as well where the character is just falling down the pit. If you don't press start in time, you know, he'll fall down into some spikes and die. Um, alright, Raiden or Liu Kang? Go Raiden. Cool thing is you can hold start and press a button and it will do that. That brings up a, an alternate costume for your character. So with Raiden I should be in red colours now instead of blue. You can also press turn the tile uh, sorry, turn the tile twice and you'll get like a unique character costume as well, which is cool. So I might have to just spam this horse shit against him, I don't know. Oh, you piece of shit. So, you know, that's all you really need to do to defeat Goro. I'll try and defeat him normally, so to speak, on this round with combos and different moves and so on, but I highly doubt he's going to allow me to do that every time I... Yeah, see, I just tried running into him then and he just grabbed me. And the problem is he takes away fucking half your health with one combo. Probably bring out Raiden's. Uh... Oh, I got gotcha, you, you bastard! Ah! Oh! I want my fucking hammer, you piece of shit! I'm going back for that. I'm getting it. Don't you fireball my ass! Oh! Don't ground stomp! Ah! <laughs> Asshole. Ah, you piece of shit. Ah. 
Mm. Damn, let me hit you with the fucking hammer. Oh, that's it. Torpedo shit. Fuck off, I'm done. Yeah, there we go. I wanted to hammer his ass a bit more and bring it out mid-combo, but I don't know, I'm just freaking out a little bit here. Shinnok is a shit character, I mean, he's pretty much just Shang Tsung cake and morph into everyone, but he hasn't got any unique moves, like at least Shang, Shang Tsung had a couple of fireballs, but this guy's got nothing, so I don't really like playing as him. He looks cool though, I guess. He's a fucking asshole to beat. Gotcha. Might not have to spam the torpedo shit on him to beat him, which is good. Ah! Mmm! That shit takes away so much health. Yeah, fucking Hong Kong spin your ass, bitch. How do you like that? Ah! Mm. This is it. Oh, you. Mm. Damn it. All right, now I'm fucking, I'm fucking pissed. Fucking combo the shit out of you now. Fucking torpedoes midair. Hong Kong spins. Ah. Oh. There you go, he's done. So that is the death of Shinnok and the end of the game. And I believe we'll get a bit of a cutscene showing Raiden's ending as well. You are the supreme champion of Mortal Kombat. That was a bit short, I would have liked to have played it a bit more. But oh well. So there we go guys, it's the end of Mortal Kombat 4, just saw Raiden's ending, and it wasn't, you know, a shitty text based ending like it was for the previous Mortal game, I'm sorry, previous Mortal Kombat games. Mortal Kombat 4 introduced the video animated endings, which was awesome, okay? So that's cool. But yeah, that's the end of Mortal Kombat 4, I fucking love this game, it's fast paced, furious, it's, it's a fucking blast to play versus with friends and so on okay it's really really good but uh yeah that's it guys thanks for watching my playthrough of mortal kombat 4